Hey, Calvary Fallbrook, this is Pastor Mondo bringing you this morning's devotion. Um, today we want to look at faith again. And the writer of Hebrews tells us in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, that faith is the evidence of things hoped for, the conviction or the certainty of things not seen. What the writer of Hebrews is telling his hearers as they are going through radical trials in the book of Hebrews, they're being arrested, their homes are being confiscated, they are losing their freedoms similar to what we're facing today. And of course, in those circumstances, our human reaction is going to be doubt. Our human reaction is going to be fear, which leads into a cycle of anxiety, stress, and sleeplessness. But what the writer of Hebrews wants to remind them is that our faith is in what we do not see. And in this context this morning, what I want to encourage us with is that, number one, our faith is in the Word of God and in the promises that He's given us. One specifically is this. Jesus said as He ascended from the Mount of Olives, Lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. I think that is very fitting for us um, as we go through these times. And we, we've lost some personal freedoms where many of us are confined in our homes throughout the day. And good for you if you're doing that. I pray you stay healthy and, and, and try to find rest as you're in your homes. But I think sometimes as, as we look at the news and we begin to hear Prince Charles has been diagnosed with the coronavirus and Tom Hanks and some of these celebrities and athletes, that those that news sometimes will begin to wiggle its way into our hearts and begin to maybe cause us to have fear and doubt. But here's the thing. The apostles went through the same thing with Jesus. We all know this story is taken from Mark chapter 4. Jesus had been ministering all day. He was tired. He told his apostles to get into a boat. They began to sail. Jesus gets to the back of the boat, gets on a pillow, and he falls asleep. You know, and we don't know the time period of the length, but as they get into the middle of the lake, all of a sudden these winds kick up. Water begins to come over the sides of the boat, and water begins to fill the boat. Now, the apostles, uh, four of them, Peter, James, Andrew, and John, who are all fishermen, uh, they knew this lake very well, but everybody begins to panic. And Jesus, as they look behind, he's still fast asleep. He's totally passed out. He's exhausted. And the disciples derive, they come to the conclusion that obviously the Lord doesn't even care. And they actually say this to him. As the waves begin to get bigger, as more water gets into their boat, they wake Jesus up. And it says in verse 38, Teacher, don't you care? We are perishing. And Jesus gets up. He's not too happy with him. He calms the storm in, in the word of his power. And all of a sudden, he looks at them and he says these words to them. Why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? See, it's at these times, everybody, that this faith that we have and what we don't see, and that's the person or the presence of Christ. We don't physically see it. But here's the thing. We have a track record of 20 years, of 30 years, of 10 years, of five years, where if we look back on that track record, I would say, and I would say this personally in my own life, Christ has always been with me in my darkest times and in my best times. And here's the thing, our faith now is, it's, it's going to be uh, revealed, not in when everything's good, but when things are going bad. The writers of Psalms, he says this in Psalm 11, verse 4, the Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes see, his eyelids test the children of man. So in one, one phrase of this psalm, he says what? The, the eyes of the Lord sees, but a comma happens. And then it says, and the eyelids of the Lord test the children of man. The eyelids of Jesus were testing the apostles in that boat. He was asleep, his eyes were closed, and he was saying to them in that sleep, do you still trust me? Do you still think that I care? And I hope and I pray that as we go through these difficult times, that the roots of our hearts and our faith will go deeper, deeper into the love and into the power that Christ has and the love that he has for each one of us. I pray that we'd exercise our faith because remember, faith is the evidence of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. As we trust in Christ, as we cry out to him in our weakness, as we cry out to him, even in our doubt, he will answer us and he answers us in grace and love. But we have to turn to him, not with skepticism or with a doubt of his care, but we turn to him knowing that he cares. We turn to him saying, Father, help me. Lord, help my unbelief. Lord, strengthen me. Give me courage to face just today. And here's the promise. He will. He's always with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. I also want to encourage you that this Sunday at 10 o'clock, log into our live stream. 
We're going to be talking about how to live in uncertain times. We're going to be talking about prayer and the, and the Christian discipline of meditating on God's word and his promises. We're going to see how we need to fight the battle of of our time in our hearts and minds, because as long as we stay on God's word, we will grow. But if we waver from it, we will be full of discouragement and despair. Love you guys. Look forward to seeing you. I miss seeing your faces. But know this, we're praying for you and we love you. I want you to take advantage of our webpage. Uh, any prayer requests, any needs you might have, we are here for you, uh, whether it be physical or just emotional. Please let us know. Um, use that. Use that webpage. God bless you, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.